During the, the last America's Cup, the Holy Grail was full driving, and um, you know, very early on we, we got our AC72 foiling. And we're on our way, ripping downwind, both boats up on the foils. What an amazing start to this first race. Um, yeah, we've been, we've kind of always thought, I always thought that when we started this America's Cup, people would be tacking on the foils by the time we, um, we get to racing, so it's something that we kind of always had an open mind on. And We're out there, you know, with a nice breeze, you know, and we you know, put the boat into a tack, and uh, there we were, split, sat up on the foils. The light. giveaway was when Chris sort of let out a, a bit of a, uh, a little giggle actually on the as we exited the tag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first few times when it was nearly on, I was kind of almost swearing like, oh, this is so on. <laughs> but then when we actually did one, I just was giggling away. Yeah, it was, it was, it was cool, it was a great feeling. And just thought, yep. There we go, that's the, uh, the first one ticked off and yeah, then we pulled off another one the same day and I think yeah, it was just satisfying to think that all the work that we've been doing in terms of trying to understand the key components that sort of all played, paid off and, and you know, there we were, you know, pulling one off. If it's anything like mock sailing, you know, it starts to open up the race course a lot more, your options are a lot, lot wider, it's not about sailing boundary to boundary, you can tack on the shifts a lot more on demand. It's a real game changer, so but, you know, the race is on. I think most of the teams are aware of it. But the the game, game is on, really, to see who can, um, you know, who can actually consistently pull it off.